All right. Well, why don't we call the order while she's doing that? And okay, uh, go ahead. Yep. 707. I got 707. Okay, 707 on June 2nd. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, welcome, everybody. <laughs> the uh, as we're trying to get Willie in here. Um, uh, did everybody get a chance to get the uh, the agenda that was sent out? Uh, comes with the it was in um, uh, a PDF with both the information, like a uh, um, the notice of veterans events committee meeting, and then the agenda below. Did everybody get that or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Look at that on my phone. All right. Well, uh, if everybody took a look at that, um, uh, we're gonna have to approve the uh, agenda. Um, if anybody has any changes or updates or anything like that, please bring it up now. But it looks pretty good to me. Um, May 21st is that, ex officio, sponsor subcommittee. And yeah, all right. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the, uh, the agenda for June 2nd? I'll motion to approve. All right. Yeah, I'll second that. All right, okay. and Mike seconds. Uh, all right, all in yep. favor, say aye. 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 All right, anybody opposed? All right. One of these days we'll figure out a good way for that. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't work, doesn't seem to work well if, you know, if we do it in reverse, but all right. Um, then uh, agenda is approved for June 2nd, as is. Now, 4 p.m. 6 p.m. June 2nd comment. Um, do you know if we had any public comments call in beforehand or um, did anybody leave any messages? Um, nothing? I have any public comment on the public comment line today. Okay, good. Um, hopefully that means everybody's happy. Although there was somebody that chimed in on the day of um, going, yeah, I noticed the mayor left the, the flag at full staff. How rude. Um, and we had to explain. It's stuck there. Stuck there. <laughs> it's been at half mass for so long that it literally, you know, that when the American Legion guy is can't, you know, bring that thing down, it's stuck. Um, so that's uh, that's that's hardly a committee issue. That's more of a public works issue. But uh, if that's the case, then uh, and there's no public comment, um, then let's go to meeting minutes. Did everybody get the meeting minutes the, um, for Tuesday, May twenty first? And yes. Uh, did you add something? Did you say something? Okay, sorry. Oh, oh! Got a side hand go up. Look at ooh, ooh, ooh! I'm getting excited. What's that? I think that um, he's with us. Well, he's with us. Oh, he's not okay. mute, but he's with us. Uh, on mute. There we go. Hey, is that Willie? Yes, it's me. I oh, just saw the. Uh, hello. Hey hello. there. It's just me. I saw. I just saw the message that we got the information uh -huh. wrong. I just called in on the right information. I'm now on the call. Great. All right. I appreciate that. And sorry for the mix up. Hey, stuff happens. Yep. Um, so yeah, we, we just approved the, uh, the agenda and we're taking a look at the uh, minutes. Did you get a chance to get the, uh, uh, the minutes from before, uh, from May 21st? Oh, did. Yes, I did. Okay. Excellent. Um, did everybody get a chance to take a look at it? Were there any changes? I didn't notice anything. We had, um, um, Max, Steve and Patrick were, uh, were out from that time, but again, that was a, really kind of <laughs> that was a wonky one so um I, I don't like you said before it's like i'm, I'm assuming that uh kind of a lot of protocol things are going out the window for when it comes to you know video calls and covid and everything but um all right but if that's the case um can i get a motion to approve the minutes for may 21st tuesday willie will make the motion to approve the minutes all right that's willie can i get a second i'll second okay excellent all in favor Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. <laughs> I heard Mike chime in there and left that. Uh, all right, then uh, then approved minutes for May 21st then. Hey, before we get any further, what did I miss uh, the very first few minutes while I was uh, trying to get onto the right call? Uh, yeah. We were talking did about how much weight important? we uh, No, we were just talking about how much weight we're gaining uh, being at home. <laughs> oh, okay, I heard something about the flag problem. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's uh, okay. Yep, we'll we'll yep. go over all that stuff, but uh, yeah, we were just going to talk about that shortly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we okay. Very good. All right. If that's the case, uh, let me go here. Do, 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 back to this. Uh, uh, obviously, Steve's not here, so and there's not really much to say for ex officio uh, reports anyway. I can't imagine there will be until we get toward um, the time we have to start filing paperwork for next year. 
um, uh, or getting close to filing for Veterans Day. Um, at some point in the future, not now, um, we should probably start talking about um, just filing the paperwork for both Ruck 22 and Veterans Day, just to kind of get that on the books. Um, and uh, actually, what is the, does anybody have a calendar in front of them? What is the yeah. Saturday before Veterans Day this year? Okay, let's go to June or November. Okay, November 11. So the, uh, the 7th is the Saturday, November 7th. Okay, so 7th is... And that is 1111. Let me go here. All right. Then, then we have um, the Veterans Day. So that would be the uh, 11 7 2020. Right. Okay. 22. Let me put that in here. 22. All day. My duties. Got it. Uh, all right. So at some point, yeah, not today. We don't have to go into it, but yeah. um, that uh, uh, we'll have to talk about filing the paperwork for both the seventh for Rock Twenty Two, and of course the eleventh for Veterans Day. So let's get back to this, and all right, then um, let me go through my list real quick. And um, but before I do that, uh, everybody who was there um, on uh, Memorial Day, everybody who helped get us to that point in a very odd completely off the wall unprecedented year um uh, yet again i i, I want to say thank you to everybody who is who's donated their time and energy and effort and blood sweat and tears um and uh and 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 this year specifically all their uh their remaining mental health that they had to spare uh to put this on um it was uh it was different and it was, you know, um, we've never done anything like that, but uh, I, I feel better knowing that we went out of our way to, even in this situation, even during a pandemic that we, you know, held tight to our duties um, to you know, honor our, our fallen and our veterans. And I, I, again, I can't thank you from the bottom of my heart enough. And uh, you guys are all great. So that's, that's how I want to start. Yay. Sorry, we took the flags down too quick. You guys did pictures. I didn't even think about pictures. Oh, <laughs> well, the, uh, um, uh, I mean, it's, it's not for lack of reaching people. We sure reach people. Um, uh, obviously, everybody saw the, uh, uh, the Memorial Day video that had gone out. Um, uh, that was the, the pre-made one that was longer that had the interviews and yeah. had, uh, you know, Pastor Rick Beatty. And then on the day of, you know, the, um, uh, the Facebook Live, which uh, I don't know, Judy, was that you that po that reposted onto the city? Uh, yeah. uh, the so, city hall? so I wanted to, um, yeah, that was me. So I wanted to Thank participate you. in that taps across America, and I was really worried that I something would happen and I wouldn't be able to go live at three. So I scheduled it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that was interesting about, and then I decided to just cut out those interviews and post those as well and do those Facebook live. One of yeah. the interesting things that happened was it closed captioned it really? um, yeah and I don't know how like some sort of magic but um, we did get a request uh, from um, John uh, I guess I probably should say but somebody somebody uh, said that they wished that the long video was also closed captioned because uh, mm. somebody that they love is in that video and they would like to be well that it me. wasn't anything we did so that has to be something that that, yeah. that happens with facebook live yeah so um, i was thinking about i was thinking about just uh doing that with facebook just so they get uh captioned oh. it, uh, so i posted that one on facebook as well but um i don't know i don't know if it automatically does that on facebook no, I, I use a third-party software i paid a whopping ten dollars to be able to um do the post those videos live that day oh, okay. and uh that was what a bargain for 10 bucks they got closed caption the closed captioning wasn't perfect but it was mm -hmm. good enough so i've used yeah. in the past where uh i've used one where i export just an audio track upload it and it's something ridiculous like 10 cents a minute uh, and uh, uh and it gets about 90 95 percent of the way there and then i just basically watch and, and go through yeah. I mean, if that is something that people would, would really like um you know I, I don't mind putting some a uh, couple bucks toward it but it's also you know uh going back and then putting it in the video as a like a real-time thing that's where it gets a little wonky um but uh uh 
yeah, the, uh, the, the problem that uh, I know I, we ran into is John Wenland doesn't have, you, you can't get online, so he doesn't have YouTube and he doesn't have uh, Facebook or anything like that. So he wasn't able to see. And given the fact that uh, um, the, uh, because of the timing, I don't think it was on WROK. So I'm not sure that he even saw himself in there, but um, worst case scenario, if I, I don't know if I have to burn a DVD or something like that for him, just for uh, um, being part of it for us. But, yeah, uh, so I think I, I think I will just maybe this weekend just do one of those like in case you missed it and do like a replay and use mm -hmm. that same software system so that it closed captions it. Okay. And then, then there'll be a way for this family to yeah. um, enjoy it. Got it. Now, um, the uh, uh, like I don't uh, that'd be great. I don't mind burning DVDs too. I mean, especially I mean we're essentially talking to two people that would would be uh, um, uh, that we'd need to do that. So. Um, Either way, we can handle that. Um, I just don't, uh, I don't want anybody to feel like left out because I know um, uh, uh, both uh, uh, the Majors family as well as uh, you know, the Wenlin uh, family, they, I mean, it's near and dear to their hearts. So. And I think that John Wenlin is like a historian. So I think that he probably likes a hard copy because he'll stick it in a binder. And I don't know, 30 years from now, somebody will have to figure out how you how you play that play a, play a dvd so yeah uh, then uh, um but yeah so i think the uh the the facebook live uh went off without uh, a hitch technically there was one glitch in the sense that um i don't know if the uh if the flagpole hadn't been raised or lowered um enough recently no. uh when they got it to the very top it stuck there and he couldn't bring it back down to half mast and uh, which um, you know, uh, Mike was uh, quick on his feet, and he he described that to the ca uh, the camera that uh, you know, obviously we bring that down to half mass, but obviously there's a there's a, a, a glitch. Um, didn't stop people from complaining online, but people will complain about really? anything. Oh yeah, somebody was, that was somebody minor to me. Some people I'm like somebody lashed out the uh, mayor and uh, said, "Oh, you left the thing at the top, and you shouldn't do that." But you know, it was. It was obviously, it wasn't an oversight. It was a uh, um, mechanical error. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it went out. Mike was, you know, fabulous as usual. I think he deserves to be uh, good on his feet as well. Um, the uh, mayor's uh, statement, um, he delivered that one much, much cleaner than he delivered his uh, yeah. video one. <laughs> what you didn't see was in the video of him delivering his speech uh, in that first one was the first four takes that we did not use because he really didn't, you know, I write differently than him, and uh, he wasn't terribly comfortable with, with my speech pattern, and he was trying to read it off, <laughs> but uh, uh, hopefully it, uh, you know, it came across okay in the video, um, but uh, I mean, as for those, the, um, uh, it, it, you saw in the report, uh, 3,654 people have watched the videos so far, um, which is not bad for a CR size, uh, and uh, 2,200 minutes of video have been played, not everybody you know watched the whole thing completely but uh, at least that's a fair amount of people that chimed in and and watched both of those together so i think it was worth it i really do um mm -hmm. it's uh, you know there's um i mean it obviously doesn't take the place of a parade but i i think we did what we could um given our situation and i think we can all at least feel proud that we didn't just blow it off and go eh, you know it's canceled we'll we'll catch up next um, and then, uh, because we still had the Oak stand strong, uh, uh, video, uh, photos, um, coming in like as of Memorial day. And I think I got one or two afterwards, uh, I got, got a couple off of Instagram. Um, so I'm putting those together, but, um, I'm going to send that out as a, almost a, a thank you uh, video and, uh, almost as a standalone. Um, and I want your opinion on this one. So right now. We have our Oak Stand Strong. It was originally for Memorial Day, but we kept the shirts generic in nature. So we can do the video as a, you know, thank you, Royal Oak, for participating. We can do it strictly as a, you know, a Royal Oak solidarity, you know, uh, uh, we stand together um, through these times and this pandemic and everything. Um, the There's plenty of ways that we can, you know, um, we can, frame that none of which have to remotely get into you know um uh, any political arguments or you know anything like that i think oak stand strong is a pretty universally accepted uh, thing I, I think it's as neutral as you can possibly get 
it's just about you know um, standing together as a community. So we can either do the like I've got the video where the the photos fade from one into the other and everything like that, and there's this you know uh, Ken Burns style movement and there's music, but how we start it and how we end it is how we frame it. So I want your take on this. Do you think it should be a thank you, Royal Oak, for participating in the first ever virtual Memorial Day parade? Or is, maybe we keep it more general and, you know, uh, thank you, Royal Oak, you know, Oak Stand Strong, you know, together as a community, we stand together and just keep it very amorphous. Uh, what is your take on this? Some take and go there. There's okay. Um, I think the thank you is good. I, um, you know, it's not over yet. You know, and I, I think the Oak stands strong. I know we did that for the Memorial Parade, um, but we're still in this. It's not over, you know, and maybe we also maybe at the end um, indicate, you know, we're looking forward to celebrating the 100th year next year with a full parade. Yep. I try like we can, you know, maybe a thank you. And then at the end, say more from the, you know, Veterans Committee. Yep. I, I kind of um, like the but, idea you know, of setting it up for next year, the <laughs> anniversary, um, uh, because that ends with, uh, it doesn't just end with a uh, attaboy. It's actually has some sort of, right. uh, some sort of call to action, something to look forward to. So I kind of like that idea. Eileen, you had a, uh, something to say? Well, I just was going to say that, um, you know, things are changing, but at least for my office, we're, we're not going to bring employees back. And I know that other employees aren't going to be brought back. And so even though the city's starting to open up a little bit, it's exactly what Cynthia is saying. It's not done. No. And so I think that maybe as we kind of maybe I'm worried about sponsorship and, and start to say, looking forward to the hundredth parade, exactly right. that is that going forward, use it in the future. Okay. I like that. But but as a reminder that you know we're all we're all this committee is still ex, still here working yeah. on a project of you know next year bigger and better um but everybody who participated with the Oak Stand Strong which I really do like that like to keep those too. available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did ours. I love our shirt. We did I did mine. That did, can that can that go on <laughs> our our Facebook page? Is there any way to have that run? Yep. Like, so maybe yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. We're getting ready for next parade. Mm -hmm. We maybe can even do that. Um, uh, um, you, you can have that pinned to the top, but because it is a Facebook page, you can also have, you know, the, the banner uh, image that goes across the top. You can have that as a silent rotating uh, um, uh, video that if it's small enough and there's no sound to it, so oh. you can have like a video of photo montage up there. So once you're, once it's done, you can cut it any way you want. But, oh, that's but, a good uh, idea. But uh, um, yeah, I, uh, if that's the case, then, um, cause I'm, I'm kind of leaning toward, you know, um, uh, Cynthia's uh, approach of, you know, thank you for, you know, um, you know, joining us. Thank you for honoring our veterans and our fallen. You know, we look forward to uh, next year when it's the hundredth anniversary, you know, uh, and, Basically, we, we're we're still all you know we're still in this together. Oak stands for sort of things. Yes. Okay to pl it's okay to plug um, Ruck Run and um, you know the ceremony we're hoping to have live on the 11th of November. You yeah. Know? I mean right. that yeah. can go in there. I mean just so you know they know we're working on more than one thing. We, yep. We're doing a lot of stuff and trying mm -hmm. to keep it all going. So yeah, um, I don't know how much time you have in this video to put all that information in, but well, we can um, make it as long as we want. So people it's tend never to too off. early. It's never yeah. too early to start promoting that ruck run. You know, it's a good idea because every time you post a video on Facebook or, or YouTube or anything like that, you have the video itself and then you have the, the content, uh, the text content that goes in there. So one of the, we can put the, um, uh, the video and then it could be, you know, thank you for everything, you know, and then don't forget to join us on, you know, um, November uh, 7th for uh, the Ruck 22 and November 11th for Veterans Day. And we'll see you all mm -hmm. next year for the 100th anniversary on Memorial Day. Yeah. We can get a little bit longer winded in the text because, you know, that's that's up on the page as soon as they land there. Getting somebody to sit through a video longer than an, a minute. Now, the good thing is right. people who sent in pictures will sit through the whole thing to see themselves. Right. You know? <laughs> people will. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. 
If, if we've learned anything in the Zoom era, it's like people will always watch themselves. I mean, most people do, you know, there's 50 things on a Zoom and they're just watching themselves the whole time. So, but, uh, so yeah, I, you know, that's a captive audience, but for the other people, I would say um, the list of the things that we're going to do, uh, I, I want to say, call out the, uh, the upcoming Memorial Day at the end of it. Um, but then in the text, absolutely, you know, and, you know, join us on this day for the Rock 22 Veterans Day, and we'll see you next year for Memorial Day. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So, let me take a note here. Da, da, da. That? Let me get back here. Uh, I, I just want to say that I, I got some requests to, to do the t-shirt fundraiser again. I know Cynthia had no. some interest yep. in it. So, um, yeah, that's something I wanted to bring up and uh, definitely in new business because so many people have said, oh, I missed it. Crap. How do I get those? I think, if, I I think if you show the video, there's it's going to generate interest. I honestly would have missed it if, Judy, you didn't post that you had just ordered yours on Facebook. I'm like, darn. And I, we, I did it like as soon as I saw your post. And they're great shirts. I love wearing it. I think the quality is good. I mean, I really, really love the shirt and everybody I know likes it. Now so, they're, they're but it's, you know, again, them. they say they like it, whether they'll order it or not. I think that we should make it available at um, the service clubs, you know, we're all members somewhere. So <laughs> let them know where to go to get it. Well, there is, there is a way to, uh, <laughs> to have um, uh, just, it. there is a way to have print on demand, just not through um, the, the same thing that we did before, um, we can easily, um, you know, I have, um, I have folks who have, uh, uh Amazon storefronts for uh, print on demand. You basically just upload the logo and people go there and they buy it. It's, it, it may not be the same quality shirt, but it, I wouldn't let it out the door for a Gildan. Yes. I think that, you know, we open it up the way we did it the last time, it was so to, totally hands off for us. We made some money on it. Right, but and, those are time. Though. And all right, so it's time. So we open it up for whatever three weeks, and then we put the word of mouth out. We see how it goes. If we take a hit, we take a hit. I got a feeling that once this video goes live, if we opened it up for three weeks, um, or whatever the time frame is, I don't know if it's two or three weeks. I know that you I can was, make it as long as you want. Okay, so well, that's the thing. Then, we can make it closed. as long as we want, but then people will want their shirt. The problem is, if we make it for two months, you, those aren't going to ship for two months. So no, I would that's, no, that's the I'm saying is, two yeah. or three weeks, three weeks maybe, and then we put the word about out, and then it's closed. I, I just would like to say that if you if you see the back end of the custom ink thing, uh -huh. uh, so we raised like one thousand ninety dollars. We already got the check from them, so they're they're really good. Um, but a large part of that was just flat out donations. Not a large part. I I'm going to say about three hundred, about uh, seven hundred dollars from from sales of t-shirts, and three hundred dollars was just donations. And that's why I always use custom ink. We've used other places before, but the real benefit is every fundraiser I've ever done is people just add, they buy the shirts and they donate ten bucks or something. Oh. Like that. And if enough okay. people do it, it it's it's significant and i mean 300 dollars is not a lot of money but you know it's yeah we didn't have it's, it's a yeah. third of the money that we raised was just from donations it had nothing to do with t-shirts uh -huh. so um that's why i like customing and yeah. sometimes i feel like when there's a call to action when when you tell somebody you got two weeks to order this and then they disappear mm -hmm. um hopefully they order it straight away and they don't like mess around so mm -hmm. i don't know I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to scoff at $300. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know. Uh, yeah, that, that's money we didn't have before. So that's great. So, um, but, um, so yeah, that was another thing I wanted to bring up is, is these shirts. Now, if we open it up and said, you know what, uh, there was such a great demand for our shirts. We're going to do another three weeks start, you know, um, so if you want that, that way we can push it out again on, on, um, you know, when we roll out the video, um, we can, uh, I'll make new cards, um, uh, that are similar to the other ones that are less, that, that aren't tied to Memorial Day itself. And, uh, we can send people there, but, um, I, I know people wanted it. I know they were interested in ordering them, but I didn't. So there, there's that, there's that trade-off. It's like, we want to hold it open for a long time, but we also know that if we, the longer we hold it open, the longer people go without getting the shirt and then they forget about it and then it comes in there. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I would, uh, if that's the case, um, I can work with uh, Judy to kind of basically open that up again 
we would just have to pick um, dates. Um, so let's see, what's, what's the day? A second. If we open that up again on... Four, um, well, when the, when the video is ready, I would yeah. launch it at the same time you're launching the video okay. and tag, tag the website or tag the contact in that video somehow and say, if you're interested in the shirt, we've had some recommend or some, you know, requests for the shirt. If you're interested, go here. It's going to be open for three more weeks or two more weeks or whatever you decide, but I would do it all at one time. If that's the case, then why don't we, so I'll, I'll, I'll put the text that we talked about at the end of it uh, tomorrow. I'll circulate it so you guys can look at it and then we can plan for a Thursday uh, launch of the video. Um, and uh, since we have everything in place for the um, uh, custom ink, I don't think it's going to cost uh, be a lot of trouble to kind of kickstart that thing again. No, um, there's like a button that says start, redo this fundraiser. So. Okay. If that's the case, then why don't we aim for the fourth through the one, two, three, fourth through the twenty fifth. Yeah. Um. So how how long is it to, before they ship them? If you if we keep it open the fourth through the twenty fifth. At the end, it just ships at the end. Well, yeah, the reason I, I figured if we do that, people will have them in time for Independence Day. That's what I'm thinking. All that's, right. That's my hope. Excellent. Good minds. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they must start printing some of them ahead of time because I right. I did a couple of orders and one order came like four days before the other one. So yeah. <laughs> there was like some first order, I know, I know my the first order, order came one. really quickly and then another one that I did towards the end uh, came later. Mm -hmm. I actually ordered the t-shirt for Paul Brake and that came like much later than the shirts I ordered for myself. Yep. Oh. I think you're right on that one. I know they say they, they ship them all at the same time, but I kind of got the feeling that a first wave went out. Yeah, I think as soon as they got have enough business. Like I was number three, I think, and I got mine before a lot of people. I mean, it was a day or two, but it was still, you know, they didn't roll in at the same time. So, but, um, so that was, uh, um, uh, that's kind of, I think the unfinished business we had was the t-shirts where people loved them. They still want them. And I think we've got a plan um, and let's see, you call Judy. So I'm taking notes here. And, but oh, other than yeah. that, um, the, I don't think that there was anything kind of left. I don't know uh, if the city's looked into the, the flagpole yet. I haven't uh, swung by there in a while. Um, but um, I returned um, uh, John Wenland stuff, um, his big, huge binder, which, um, ooh, I learned so much about Roy Oak. I didn't realize that uh, they, like, at one point they tried to rename Crooks Road Wenland Road um, or Wenland Avenue or something like that. And uh, so th that whole family's been, uh, you know, very active in trying to keep that uh, memory alive. But um, you know, the uh, I'm I'm glad I'm glad people liked the video. I'm glad it was. Uh, I knew it was going to be emotional. But uh, um, the uh, taps and the anthems tend to. Like when you're not there, they seem much longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of on, but uh, uh, it's it's much more moving when you're there. But uh, um, I do. Uh, I think it was, you know. I, I want to send um, Jensen an email and, and thank him again because uh, he he pulled that one out because he thought he was just gonna be playing taps and and uh, he said you know he's like oh well do you want me to play anthems I'm like well if you can and he he ripped off the U S and the British but man that Canadian one we had to take two or three takes. <laughs> And then stop in the middle and watch the and the anthem on YouTube because it's a it's a surprisingly complex compared to ours. <laughs> but uh, um, so yeah, he was fantastic. Um, uh, Mike, obviously, I, I want to give you another shout out. You were you were great as usual, um, and uh, you're you're, uh, you're always fantastic to have on the ground there. Thanks, Dave. Hey, well, but, wait. While we're giving shout outs, Dave, we would none of us would have been able to do what you did with the video. It was gorgeous. Let's Loved give it. you a shout out right I was there. Worth watching it, and I was in tears. I, I was too. Anthem. I watched it three times in Grayling in our little cabin in the woods, and I shared it with everybody. And I made them sit here and watch it with me. It was fabulous. <laughs> and I don't think we. I mean, it was like uh, there was some time that went into that. And I think Jensen, being such a big part of the community too, anybody who wasn't tearing up with that, mm -hmm. and John Wendland, God bless him. 
the it, words it, he's it, hard it, to understand but believe you me yeah. i watched his speech over he's so sincere and so genuine that if you didn't if you didn't tear up in that yep even if you didn't know john yeah um and it was i thought it was that's off to you yep Thank beautiful you. job so yeah, the uh, um, we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to search far and wide to find a, a speaker for next year to to uh, top our uh, top our interviews this year. So <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, the um, uh, you know I I just want to it's it's I'm I'm overcome you know every year that we do this and this year was just so strange <laughs> that uh, um, it's it was almost a it almost provided a sense of normalcy to actually have to, you know, be able to sit down and do something and get it out. And even though we weren't there, you know, 6 a.m. Um, setting up cones, um, it was, uh, uh, it still kind of provided a, a little bit of camera. a- Where's the camera, right in front of me? Uh, a little bit of a, a normalcy that I was looking for, so. Yep, that's your camera. Yeah, that's, that's Steve oh. playing around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, what's Cynthia doing? I thought you were cleaning it. Like, no, <laughs> no, Steve had his big fat thumb on there. <laughs> so, um, but uh, and I thought I thought Pastor Rick Beatty did a good job too. I liked his. He uh, yeah. uh, takes and and I kind of combined the two because he had. Uh, um, I liked his little prayer there <coughs> that he ended with. But oh, um, he's he's a fantastic guy. I like him. But uh, yeah, I mean, apart from that, um, I yep. think the next steps are yes, yeah, Cynthia. I wasn't there. Can I ask what the crowd was like? It was smaller than I thought. Uh, there was a couple looky loos that were kind of in the back. Obviously, Eileen, you know, um, I, I I showed up early and I set up, uh, you know, the yeah. uh, the flags that uh, Tim used to put in the um, right. In the so I took those and I measured out uh, every six feet and I made like a grid. So even if you know 12, 16 people showed up, they would still have a grid. Um, so Eileen was, was there. Awesome. Uh, there was the uh, our American Legion brothers, uh, and uh, they were they were all there. Now um, there was several people kind of stopping in the back. There was a few people that, that walked by the. Um, uh, now I don't know if they were just kind of coming out of the, uh, the parking garage, but uh, it didn't look like we had any spies, which um, not that I was worried about, but somebody's always complained about something. Right. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I, yeah, I was, but it wasn't I was alarm. ready for somebody there with a long lens. You know, oh, mayor doesn't have a mask on or something. But the fact that, you know, both of, you know, he and Michael have um, speeches with masks on is impressive too. So, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, and, I mean, thankfully people didn't show up. I was hoping they wouldn't, but if they did, right. I wanted to have that blocked off area so that we can say, ah, ah, ah. see, you now we did our due diligence. And, uh, hey, this is oh, this is Willie. Just for your information, there were a couple of guys there from the VFW Acorn Post. Oh, okay, yep. Well, were they the the ones with the uh, the stanchions, um, or did you guys uh, handle all that? No, they were over. They they were over by the library. They watched kind of from the library oh, okay. area. Got it. I was kind of facing there, so uh, I I didn't want to um, I didn't want to make sure, uh, you know, skip anybody. Uh, Eileen, you got your your rubber stanchions back. No, I was saying that I um, I let one person that it was very important to him that we do something. So I let him know ahead of time that we were taking care of that. And then I let the other people know the day before. Yep. So I said, I would prefer that you not come, but if you feel the need that you have to be there. Okay. Um, and they, everybody just respected that not being there. So that was great. I, and um, I was, I was glad that uh, people, you know, took it for what it was, which is, you know, here we are trying to be respectful and honorable and, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, work within confines. So, but uh, yeah, I'm thankfully it wasn't a big turnout. Um, I don't, uh, I didn't want to have to deal with, uh, with that side of it, but um, yeah, everybody that was there was very, uh, was very chill. I think we were out of there and uh, like, was, what was it like 13 minutes? <laughs> it was pretty quick. It was a short time. It was, it was yep. pretty quick. <laughs> Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I was, uh, um, I was, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. So, and I will say, even though I know the 21 gun salutes coming, I still jump every time. Every time. Yep. Boom. This, this they... the first one, not the second. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang it. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not shell shocked enough, uh, that, uh, that, that first one never gets me. So. <laughs> but, um, but then again, I'll be at the range too. And sometimes it gets me too. And I'm the one pulling the trigger. So. 
But um, all right, then um, the uh, do we have any unfinished business that I uh, didn't cover that we want to touch on no, other no. than future uh, subcommittee meetings? Bit, sorry, um, or, uh, not here. Yeah. I thought I, I well, um, I thought we had talked about maybe getting the uh, sponsorship information shored up. You know, yeah, I thought you were going to meet tonight at six, but I... yeah. I'm glad we didn't. I was with my mom all day. I had gotten okay. home around 620. So it I all think you should schedule there. a meeting. Okay. Yeah. Like I have, let me see, June. So I've got, oh, oh, I didn't have that one here. When I had the subcommittee meeting on here at one point. But I'm um, not I guess I thought it was tonight. But I thought it was today at 6 too, yeah. but I'm glad it wasn't. If it wasn't, it's because, you know, then I'm, yeah, I'm glad it wasn't too, because I think I just lost my, my Apple calendar. I lost half yeah. the things on my thing. So, well, um, the question is, we uh, just say that while well, we kind of do this, but we normally kind of stop meeting yep. in, you know, Thanks. July and August and we, or we come back in August, I guess, or September. So with the subcommittee, I don't know that you want to do that. Maybe you could meet just the subcommittee and work on that because like, like the optimist club we had our board meeting this morning of how we're going to go forward and i think everybody's going to probably be doing the same thing we're going for the corporate sponsors because we know it's going to take longer and then at the same time then we have to start working on our, our smaller sponsors you know oh, so i think we can and do david, david right first of all the the agenda that came through from Steve Tycho did not include a subcommittee. Okay. I, maybe we voted that at the last meeting. Yeah. And two, the same policy applies for meetings going forward. We don't know what July looks like. Uh -huh. yeah. They have to be done this way. We're hoping they'll be able to be done live with social distancing, um, but we won't know till the end of the month. So for now, I'm going to say you should ask Sergeant Tycho to make the request through. Um, oh, just, oh. just for, uh, so subcommittee meetings have the same rules of uh, public comment as regular committee meetings. They're, they're, uh, uh, all meetings have the same rule right now because the only way to have public access for the public to comment and the public to view hmm. are to do the public comment line and then to do the live stream for the public to view it. Well, that's what I'm saying is, uh, do subcommittee meetings have to have public comment? If it's a public meeting, it has to have public access for comment yeah, so, yeah. to be able to see it. If that's the case, if we, and I don't know when, you know, we'll, if we would have access to the, the police station again, if we set something up for June or July 7th, um, Right now, David, that the yep. same rules apply for July that apply for that apply for June. Okay, got it. Well, then you can do it. Maybe a do it. week from now we can have public meetings. Then maybe those rules don't apply. But for now, if you want to have a meeting, it has to be essential. You guys were deemed essential tonight because you have to discuss the budgeted money that you have to yep. use. Or July yeah, or new business your yeah. subcommittee what you're talking about is not going to be deemed essential for a June meeting yeah, it is. Oh, that, uh, but so July it's... and August could be totally different you could meet yep. every week then we don't know what's going to happen so Cynthia uh, you've got a question I think I might know what you're saying well I don't know but um I'm going back to what Eileen was saying is typically we take July and August and meet in September. I think with the ruck run being in November, that is a mistake because we need to be loud and proud about that ruck run by August. It should be posted at all the service clubs. We should be screaming it out by August and not waiting until September. And then it gets out the beginning of, and you know, and then our ruck run is the 7th of November. We need to have that out. I would think from a marketing perspective, no later than uh, middle of August. So that means we cannot take July and August off. It's well, here's the thing. I, I don't know. So um, because I'm going to create the. And uh, it's a hundred year. It's a hundred year. We cannot wait until Jan end of February to start a parade. But I think the way we uh, we get around that is um, if we take a vote tonight that I will uh, create both 
Rock 22 and Veterans Day uh, materials um, uh, for uh, use on social media and for printing off and going to the, the, the clubs. If we vote on that and vote on um, renewing the subcommittee materials for sponsorship, then at least that way we've got a vote on, uh, on the books. I go off, do the stuff, and then uh, whosoever would be doing the delivery, we don't have to meet again before we actually start going to American Legion, VFW, all those things. And we can vote on that tonight on the actual creation of the content. And then we can be doing the work offline before our next meeting. So even if we don't meet until, you know, uh, first day in August, we will still have had time to put some of that stuff out there. And I think we can handle that with a vote tonight, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have, we will have the registration online on our website, Ready for Rock Run, when we distribute this information. It's key that we get it in Steve's hands because he's so connected with a lot of different things. So yep. I know Steve really wants um, to get it to his friends, and I'd like to get it to my friends as soon as possible for the Rock Run. Um, but it has to be, you have to be able to be able to register online. So we'll have to get that up and rolling. Um, if that's the case, are we, so we can got to get the Rock Run sign up on the site. Um, are we going to do with the Ruck Run what we did for um, Oak Stand Strong and use um, uh, a custom ink for that? Yes. Um, or are we going to do the, what did we say, beanies this year? Yes. Hats. We want to do beanies instead. They're okay. all one These size. Hats. hats. All one size. It's right. cold. It's a beanie's not going to help me. What's that? I want a hat. Like a toque. Yeah. What's yeah. that? You You're know, a real Canadian. A knitted, a knitted cap. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. No, my cap, my Canadian cap does not keep my ears warm. Uh, Sorry. Oh, we're talking a hat. <laughs> a hat. Yeah, yeah. Not like a, the, you know. I can um, go get so my Canadian cap is, for you. So keep I'll go on the custom ink. Uh, custom ink as part of the, the thing. I don't know that custom ink makes custom hats, but you can oh. check. Okay, we'll find something. We'll put a custom ink ish. Um, yeah, uh, something for a hat. hat. Mm. Well, hat. I think the hat should just say 22. I, I like the idea of somebody saying, what, what does 22 mean? And then you have to explain it to them. Yeah, it'll, it'll be very much like the, the badge, the 20, Rock 22 yeah. badge, but we'll just say yeah. 22. So I can't, and we can vote on, uh, we can vote on um, setting up the Rock Run sign up sheet and um, finding custom uh, uh, hat designs. And then I can circulate that. We can also vote on um, reissuing the updated. Um, materials for uh, sponsorship. And at least that will get us through people signing up for Ruck 22 and, and getting the ball rolling on the hats, as well as getting the sponsorship information out there without having to meet again right away. Um, so I don't know if we should vote on those two things, the Ruck 22, you know, oh, yeah. vote to uh, kickstart the Ruck 22 thing separate from the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the subcommittee one, or that should be part of the same thing. Uh, no, I think we should. I, I'm happy to make a motion right now that we give you permission to um, to uh, create the website or whatever it is we need for the Rec 22. To do I the artwork, I think. Can we say that to do the artwork? Uh, and we can we can put like a caveat that it doesn't go live until we like approve it at our next meeting. Like maybe we can see it at our August meeting and. We can we can circulate offline so long as we don't vote, correct? I mean, we can circulate between the uh, I can circulate graphics between then. We just can't vote on it. I think um, if you're deliberating towards anything, it has to be public. So, yeah. like, if you're circulating around saying which one do you like best, mm -hmm. that's deliberating towards an end, and that has to be public. That you have to be transparent about that. But what if, if I send say, one and go, we this trust is you right now. <laughs> To bring What's back that? a website in August and we vote on it and then the next night it goes live. <laughs> like we can do yeah. something. Yeah, so that's what we're saying. You do the artwork, period. So we're aiming for August 4th. Yeah, I mean, so we'll just have um, August, we'll have July off. All right. Which is fine. Uh, Cynthia, yes. Okay, so um, if we're gonna use like a custom ink thing, are, is there not gonna be a registration? Because didn't we hand out packets with the shirts last year? Yeah, we did. So 
Are we going to do a registration and we could do the hats there? Well, we we said that the hats you can hand out the morning of, whereas t-shirts it's a pain in the butt because you're going right, through. Right, exactly. Exactly. Hats, but, like, boop, 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 you know. Um, so just a, we're not going to meet at the police station and take shifts like we did last year. We'll just do um, registration we, at yeah, the BFW, do, yep. which um, my, maybe Mike can make sure that they're going to clear that because I do think the auxiliary was going to make sure that. There's coffee mm -hmm. and stuff for our runners in the back room. Yeah, the, the VFW is all for that ruck, so they're, they're they want to get involved big time. Okay, we cool. Support. Eileen, what'd you have? Yeah, I just want to suggest that we do it. I mean, I know there was an issue about coming in right at that doorway, but I think if we go all the way to the back and do the registration in the back, we're not going to be having any issues. Right, but outside. it was very last minute because we did not. Yeah, I just think it would be better year. inside. And I think they'll be fine with that. But um, so, Mike, you have the date of November 7th. So you can relay that information to the powers that be at the V. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be better organized this year. Yeah, right. I'll help out, too. I'll help. Me, I'll too. Help yeah. out. I, I have information. Okay. <laughs> so I'm looking at the Custom Inc. website right now, and they do, in fact, do... Um, like hats. Okay. So, so I have seen people in the past do something where you register on Custom Inc., you get your hat before, and your hat tells us that you're in. Like the only the only reason you had to um, sign up before is we needed to know did you pay for a t-shirt. Right. So we, can't just, right. we need to know like did you pay for this t-shirt because we're not going to give you one. If you use Custom Inc. as your sign up, then everybody gets their hat like well in advance and wearing your hat is your proof that you signed yeah, up. And you, you got in. If you come without a hat on, who cares as long as you bring in food? Right. Right. And the other thing is, is they also do like cinch bags too, which might be like another, maybe we offer, you can either get a hat or a cinch bag because the cinch bag might be like a cute thing to carry. Um, stuff, you know, carry or yeah. Food items in? I don't know, but yeah, custom ink does do um, hats, and 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 I think we would do the same thing. We would uh, have that box that allowed you to make a donation. I think we would do really, really well, really well. Okay. And now we don't have to have any packet pickup or anything. Right. No. You just show up that day with your hat on, and <laughs> or just show bag. up and bring food. We don't care because we have no like you know. Yeah. Right skin in the game like we're just trying to get a bunch of food we're, that's we're not really trying to raise a lot of money we're mostly trying to raise food. correct right we're trying is to get going, the food is the is the food still going to the same um organization as we had last year the vietnam veterans Pantry? yeah 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 i mean okay unless somebody yeah. had a better idea but yeah no i just was curious if we well we'll have to reach out to them like we do every year and make sure um that they're still up for it but it's you know last year they brought a trailer and they filled the whole trailer yeah right right carol uh did you can you make me host so i can share my screen for a second i thought you were co-host am i co-host okay. yeah I think you should she said that oh, there we go okay she said that anyways all right yeah there we go um how about this for a hat <laughs> yeah 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 I'd wear it. It's just, uh, it's our standard 22 from Ruck 22, but they have everything else stripped off other than that. So it still matches our logo, but it's still just kind of general. Yep. And then you can explain why am I wearing a hat with 22 on it? Exactly. So, uh, and uh, for, uh, for Mike and Willie who are on the phone, uh, it's the Ruck 22 uh, logo with the Ruck taken off. So it's still that sort of uh, um, airborne looking badge um, with just the 22 that would have been on there. I can circulate that, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. part, uh, if you like the Ruck 22 um, badge, then you'll uh, uh, you'll appreciate this one. And then actually, Sounds good. Actually, if you go to the Custom Ink website right now, you can we can pick the hat right now too. We'll just right, wow. go there. Okay. Customink.com, and then I'll share my screen for this. Okay, good. Uh, no, have a nice. Google isn't technology? Yeah. Everybody's ahead. asking us at the Optimus Club because we've been meeting at eight. If we could continue to meet at eight a.m. and not at seven a.m., yeah. <laughs> we'll go to products uh, over there. Yep, yeah, there you go. Oh, and maybe I should do that. Go to, oh, you see? Yep, click on that. <laughs> and then the one in the lower. Oh, there, there you go. Click on that. There's there's multiple styles. Okay. And colors. 
Oh, yeah. yeah so we've got the, so some have like a little band, band and some don't have a band. The Carhartt, I like those, uh, but you know, those are going to be more expensive. Um, yeah. the, but though that style, so there's the, that that, more, there's the style that there's the style that flip up and have the uh, the logo yeah. on the outside yeah. of the flip up. There's the ones that are just straight shot down like this. One. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Yeah, one. I like the yeah. cuff. I like the cuff on it. Uh, I I pretend to like the the cuffs too because like if you do get cold you can yeah down yeah I'm not a big fan of the pom pom on the top no pom pom no pom no, no pom pom yep um, okay men are gonna wear this versus women got and it men both yeah and um, so, so if you if you click on one of them with the cuff it'll show you like where your how your design like click on that one yeah the one there you got that pink one yeah that's show you like the different colors. And then when you say like you want to start designing, it'll show you like where the logo would go. So you can probably just go ahead and add that um, your, your uh, yeah. you could probably add your 22 on there right yeah, now. Yeah, I think the 22 is better because that's like the entire hat. <laughs> <laughs> and, then so you that's can, the thing. Yeah. and then you should be able to change the color. If you go back a page, you should be able to change. We can pick a color. It looked like there's hints uh -huh. in about a dozen different colors. All right, let me export this. I will export this as a ping file right now. Uh, second. I don't need to be over here. I'm like over here. I don't love it. Just sitting there. I don't think we'll have white either. I'm just gonna change it. I don't know. I I would change that. Let me uh, let me export this. Um, as a file right now. Hey, what you doing? What you doing, pretty girl? Okay. No, they're not. Okay. I saw you go, so don't even try. So, yeah. There, basically, Shelby's, Shelby's trying to say hi, but hey, Shelby doesn't want to come in the room. Yeah. So no. let's change. Not coming in the room. <laughs> She's like, no, don't think so. So, so what do you that. think? Like, a, um, like a gray? Well, I think they go with the army green. I like army green, but that's not army green. No. That's not. Our, that's that's. Uh, yeah, that's not army green. That is. Uh, but yeah. we can look at other styles. That I, yeah. I'm. We can even maybe search for. Our, I'm sorry, army green. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is just for. Um, I'll I'll find one that's similar. I just want to see how this. This works. Oh, you just had um, it, but it disappeared. Yep. Damn it. Too many Actually, tan, tan wouldn't be bad, or camel color oh, wouldn't be bad. That's good, too. Yeah. Tan's good, too. Damn it. Yeah, what are you, what's going on there? That's weird. I've got so many things on my desktop. I think it's now. It seemed like you got it, and then it jumped to something else. Yep. Hang on. Desktop sort by date. Come on. You gonna come back again? There we go. Everybody, you gonna come in? Do you wanna come in and say hi? No, too much stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you stick to one color like that, it'll be, we'll make more money per hat, you know? <laughs> yep. All right, so, uh, yeah, so this is the, yeah, roughly what uh, what that would look like. Yeah, yeah, that's great. What should I go back? Go to the bottom and change colors again. Do they have a tan? No tan either. No, but we can choose a different product too. So, um, yeah, we can uh, go to change product right at the bottom. Oh, yeah, there you go. More. That's makes me want to order stuff for the office now. <laughs> Let's, yeah, let's try a different one of these things. Pork Not cut. the Carhartt. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't mind the Carhartt. I think it's yeah, a good yeah, hat. No, I thought I going to wear not, it more often. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where they put the design. They I would, but they're going to be like twenty-five bucks each. Yeah, no, they're not. They're not. No, I think. Yeah, but the, I think. Oh, the other one, I guess, was eighteen. I think it. I think twenty-five is too much. Okay. Uh, let's okay. see what they would. Yeah. Yeah, I think that as much as I like Carhartt, Ooh, I do brown, too. There's the, a brown. Yep. Well, that's Carhartt brown. So yeah, let's. Uh, um, what happened to the brown? Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna go back and, and see if I can find this here. I thought there was a brown on the one you just picked. 
that yeah, was a car heart. Heart. But That's now, what I'm saying. That's the one that's like 25, 26. No, that's a, you just picked another one and there was a brown. Wasn't it Carhartt? Yeah, that was a Carhartt. Oh. I clicked oh. on Carhartt. Let's try these. You Pong. You Pong. No. This is Willie. Could I make a suggestion? Yeah. Okay. Could I make a suggestion that uh, whoever's doing the talking, David, and there's two ladies, could you form a subcommittee of maybe three people, select oh. a hat, and just uh, <laughs> do it? Um, yes. well, that's the thing is we wanted to get this rolling. Um, uh, so it's, it's going to be a matter of... Uh, um, like if we, if we look at this right now and go, yep, this is what we want to do. We can vote on this and then I can work with Judy to get, uh, uh, this thing rolling. Um, but we have to vote on it tonight. Otherwise we won't be able to start until August 4th. Yeah. Um, so if just what you're seeing here, if this is, uh, you know, knowing that we want to get like an army green and knowing we want to get this thing on the front and we want to flip up one or tan, uh, tan would be good tan. too. Yeah. Um, uh, can we at least get a vote then, then to go down that road? Because that, that way we can get that thing rolling before. Our okay. Next well, meeting. let me, let me back us up because we have a motion on the floor, motion to give Dave permission to do the artwork for Ruck 22. Uh, and Judy made that motion. We don't have I a second. I already okay. seconded that. Okay. So Cynthia, so we have to vote on that one before we go on to the next motion. Got it. All right. All in favor of me doing the design uh, for the hat and getting that thing to the point where we can set that up in custom ink. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yep. All right. I'm gonna make All right. It. Now you can do a motion. I guess I can make the motion. Motion to approve hat selection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hat selection. Is there is there a way to add? Like the uh, the oak stands strong to the back, so it's almost two sided. They do have that. I don't know if it increases yeah, the cost. Yeah. It shouldn't be much if you keep it the same color. That's where the prices change is when you start messing with colors. So if we let's see what the price would be on these things. Um, well, I don't know how the price. Oh, is. it says maroon and spruce. I know that I'm just, I'm just, uh, oh, talking. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So this is like ordering. This isn't like, a, um, this yeah, isn't, that's not like setting up a fundraiser. Yeah, um, it's not. I'm just trying okay. to get, so there we go. Well, there you go. There's the cost per, per each one. So okay. if we're talking roughly 14 bucks each, um, and, uh, we're, uh, we're saying, uh, 22. 22 uh, does. That's what we do. 22. So it, that's decent amount of profit. Yeah. So, so I just really like the hats. idea. I just like the idea if you can tie in the same logo on the shirts to the hats, then you could like wear your shirt and your hat or. Yeah, I love that idea. Unify it more. Dave, whatever low or whatever, um, if you did all caps for the shirt, I would do the same thing on the hat. Oh yeah, no, I just I okay. typed that in as a placeholder. Okay. That's, we're, so we're I have, so, yeah. I'm trying to make a motion to approve hat selection, um, hat selection with 22 and Oak Stand Strong logo, Oak Stand Strong logo. I'll second that. Is that Judy? Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Name, Judy. Uh then all in favor of uh, hat selection. Can I make a friendly amendment? Can yeah. we just, yes. uh, the color of the hat and the ink to be determined by Dave. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hat, okay. From hat selection and color and logo selection. There we go. So I did that. Prove hat and color and logo selection. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Um, then if that's the case, all in favor. Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Aye. Aye. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, if that's the case, then uh, uh, excellent. So that's been approved. Let's go. Okay. To, uh, Those are things they need in the minutes. What do you got it. It's so one time. more, one more thing that I want to, um, uh, that I want to uh, test on you here. PNG. Um, before we stop. So we have the 22 bold here. Um, 
What do you think of doing a solid badge with the 22 showing through? Um, I'm going to show you this one really quick, and this will be the last time I share my screen. Um, what do you think of the inverse where the 22 is cut out and the yellow? Does that stand out more? I like them both. Yeah, I think I you can too. make the decision. You can make, you can yeah, make that Yeah, I'm not decision. good at that. Okay, not, I just wanted to run it by you before we did this. So, uh, excellent. I, I do think that stands out better, but I do your too. choice. You, your man. choice. <laughs> uh, all right, so, uh, and we've got both the design and the hat, then um, I will work on that. And obviously I'll send around um, uh, designs and screenshots after the fact, but um, uh, we'll get that rolling so that we don't have to wait until August. Um, and then um, the, I think we actually still had it on the books from before, but we may need to take another vote for um, uh, letting me rip with the subcommittee um, redoing last year's uh, sponsorship package um, for uh, this year to be able to um, uh, raise money for, uh, we, we had a, a deck, multi-page deck, and then we had like a two-page one um, that we can just walk in and hand. And uh, um, I don't know if we need a new um motion for that or um if we just go off the old one yeah i think we already have that on the books yeah, yeah. i think we need to re-vote on we're that just carrying it up we're carrying yeah. it over to 21. yeah, yeah. Okay. the only thing that i would say that could be done um in july if we don't meet is researching sponsors like i did a little bit of research on beaumont uh if you if you ask them for money uh, it has to be for a very specific thing. So they give it for, for health reasons. Right. They, have to do, right. they don't give it for parades. That's not a reason to get it. So you would have to uh, incorporate a health benefit to the parade. Like we're, we're, we're going to highlight in the parade, um, like, well, if we got the, like, if we got the, the like, you know, mental health for vets or something like that. So, yeah, if we, got, like a, if we got the disabled American veterans or something like that, or if we right, got the role, we can right. say uh, senior vets. And there definitely is a, there definitely is a health angle to our rock march. And I think we could make one, but, but okay. you have to read like everybody you're asking money for, you have to read what they give money for. They only give money for like two or three things. And then you have to be really creative. Yes, yeah, Cynthia. Okay, so I'll, I'm not I'm not just about um, money, but I'd like to see Beaumont participate. I'd like to have them have, you know, what are they doing for the vets? What do they do for the vets? It's the veterans parade. So what are they doing? Do they give back to the community? I want to know what Beaumont's going to be in the heart of our city, and so is Henry Ford. I'd like to see them step up and, you know what? You're going to be in the heart of our city. Do you want to uh, sponsor the horses? Do you want to sponsor the flyover? What do you want to do? Because you're going to be right here in our city. The flag. Yeah. <laughs> is this, I mean, is I, this for I'm Rock all about 22? asking for money, no, but no, I'd like to see their faces out there. And I'm going to tell you that marketing department wants to have their faces in our parade. All right. So, um, what do you do for the vets? Do you do blood drives? What do you do? Let us know what you do for the vets. Does anybody have a, a contact with their, uh, their marketing or communication? You know what? The, I think their marketing director. They have had a huge stir up at the top. Yeah. And I don't think the coach. So the mar I know the uh, vice president of marketing has changed at least two times in the last two years. Okay. So yeah. well, then I'll research that uh, specifically. Yeah, I, I have the name there. The person you want is their government relations person. That it used to be Maureen Elliott and it, there, it's, it's somebody different. Yeah, but she's like way up there. I'm, no, but, but I, I, I want to talk. I want to talk to the people who are building in our city. I want to talk to those. They they have marketing dollars for Royal Oak. Uh, who'd you say, Maureen? Who? Elliot. Yeah, but she's no longer with Beaumont. Um, no, but we can at least name I drop. Her. Oh. But I, I have. I'm not above name dropping to get somebody on the phone. No, no, uh, I I can. Um, we can. I can give you uh, her replacement name. It doesn't. I don't know their name, but I have their contact you information. Maureen Elliot. And that's uh, like government. There, she's like the government liaison. Okay. She, it's her job to work with cities. So then what we can yeah. do is before our August this one, job. um, uh, uh, because I've got the, uh, the previous vote on going off and, and getting the, the materials done, we can at least get those and have PDFs in the hands for people to print She's out. Lion, and right? going to be going to, if anybody's got a meeting with anybody, uh, of note, um, uh, we can at least have those ready to go. And then before our next meeting, we can research things like Beaumont or Henry Ford Health or, or, yeah. you know, or uh, the, 
Wahlburgers. And, uh, and that way, you know, uh, and that's also the thing. Um, I will put uh, the request on with Steve for both a six o'clock subcommittee meeting on August 4th, as well as a seven o'clock regular. Um, August 4th at six. Do I have that? Let me see here. I'm looking for it. Uh, okay, so August 4th, which is our next meeting, right? We're saying August 4th. And August 4th, 7 is our general. And I'll 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 work with Steve to get that in the books. Um okay. we will have uh now obviously we're gonna need the agenda for those things, but uh Eileen, you and I can Yeah, I'll put the agenda together right away and get that to him. Got it, got it, got it. Um, uh, so if that's the case, then I don't think we need to vote on anything else for the Wait. subcommittee stuff. Oh, no, not for the subcommittee. Yeah, uh, go on. I just want to recap that the video will be available um, this Thursday, and then yep. we'll, we'll launch the Oak thing Friday for shirts. Yep. Uh, we said the 4th, so you want to make it the 5th? Well, no, I don't know. I, I, do, I, yeah, I just so want, fourth, I didn't write it down. Okay. Yep, 4th right. through the 25th, that gives us some time to get that delivered before 4th okay, of July. Perfect. perfect. Thank you. Sorry. Yep, yep, um, yep. So we do have new business. I don't know if we're moving on to new business. Yes. Okay. No, I'd like to go to unfinished business if you okay. don't mind. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. sure. Yep. Okay. Well, go ahead. And in one respect, I hope I'm not interrupted, but I got something to say about the uh, ceremony that we did. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the... Uh, War Memorial. I took I I took a voice no I took a an email message from one of my buddies at the American Legion Post and I kind of know where it came from, but he said that he had been told that there was no taps and the no taps was in uh, uh, capital letters with three or four exclamation points at it to be played at the ceremony. Now I didn't get the program for the ceremony until uh, Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And I realized then that Mr. Jensen's taps was the only taps to be played uh, on a video. There was no taps going to be done at the ceremony. I tried to get hold of the post bugle on Monday morning, but the post bugle was locked up in the gun safe, which had already been uh, gotten into to get out the rifles for the 21 gun uh, for the 21 rifle volleys. Mm -hmm. I was not able to get hold of the bugle. If I had, I would have recommended that we do taps at the end of the ceremony, which should have been part of the ceremony at the end. That should have been the final part of that ceremony. So I'm just going to say that in the future, if we ever do this again, taps should be played at the end of the ceremony. Okay. And that's my I, point. I understand where they're coming from. The The original, our intention was that, the uh, the, the pre-made video and the um, the live video were, were two halves of one whole. That the the live portion um, uh, was uh, um, the second half of that video. So those two things taken together were the Memorial Day virtual ceremony in which we did have taps and everything like that. Um, but the uh, uh, and of course taps was at the end of that video. But, because we couldn't do everything live and we couldn't do everything pre-made, we had made a decision to sort of split those things up. I see where he's coming from, yep. um, but uh, the the one thing the the main reason we didn't want taps live was then you know then you'd have somebody on camera pulling their mask up during a pandemic to play taps, um, and if we just and if we use the one that we didn't have, we'd have somebody sticking a bugle over a mask. And then we'd get, you know, people deriding us saying, oh, you used a fake bugle. So the decision was made um, to make the taps as part of the pre-made video for safety reasons, overriding what would normally be a, a, a sort of um, a, the strict procedures that we would adhere to. Obviously, without the pandemic, we absolutely would have ended with taps live. Um, but because it was a safety issue, um, uh, we figured that this was the best way. I understand what he's saying, but it, you know, it simply, it wouldn't have worked um, in that environment. Yes, Eileen. Yeah, I just want to say. Well, I I'm going, I am going to disagree with that and I'll just leave it at that. Okay, well, Willie, I want to say that there was a, a member of this uh, seven people that were doing the 21 gun salute that was not wearing a mask. And I was not happy to see that. Oh, I didn't notice that one. Yeah. 
I didn't yeah. notice that either. Yeah, there was one out of the seven, and I just didn't understand why he needed to do that. If we want to look back at the video, he was not wearing it. And, you know, I was, the whole point of this was that we were doing a ceremony, a, you know, a live ceremony, and we we're trying to limit people and try to make it so that we're wearing masks. David's absolutely right. We could not play taps and keep a mask on. I'm gonna, I'll throw this out as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to look at the video again, yep. but one of our guys brought masks from the Legion so that we all matched. Yeah, and I don't as far know. As, I, as far as I can recall, I have to look at the video, but I'll find out who it was. Well, he might have taken it off during the time he wasn't shooting, but it should have been on the whole time. Well, I'm and I'm not that concerned. Uh, I mean, the obviously that that looks bad on us if we had somebody that was like that. But um, uh, back to the original uh, thing, which is, yeah, um, I kind of racked my brain about it. I couldn't think of a um, a. Um, uh, a respectful way and a safe way to pull off taps at the live um, Facebook thing, which is why we, we did it in the, uh, um, the pre-made video, because if we had somebody with a mask with a bugle on top of the mask, then it looks silly and disrespectful. Um, and if we have somebody pull the mask down while they're on the stage, you know, while they're up there on the, the monument with the mayor and Mike and everything like that, then we have a whole nother shit storm with somebody saying, oh, there's social distancing. So I, I, I figured that this was the best, safest way, yeah. knowing that I wanted everything to be as close to the traditional program as possible, but still remaining safe. And I couldn't figure out a different way. And if yeah. we do this again, if somebody's got a better idea, I will absolutely listen to that. Yeah, uh, maybe this is, we could have had that pre-played. Maybe we could have had that pre-played and just threw it in there, even though it was Facebook Live. Basically, basically, and I'll tell you, I don't like interrupting, but basically you don't see the bugler. The bugler's kind of off in a distance somewhere. He puts the bugle on high, stands somewhere, you just hear the notes. You don't even see him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, that's what I'm um, saying. We could have played it. So if we, so you're saying that even if that had been like an AP system off to the side and we hit play and uh, and it was that way, that would have been – uh, a better end to it than no, he's not saying that. Later, so. <laughs> yes, Cynthia. All right, I'm, yes, I'm done. Wait. I'm sorry. No, good, good. Willie, Willie I, I appreciate I, that, Willie. Willie, I I do need to ask. Um, so I understand um the taps thing, and believe you me, this group has been through the taps discussion for several years now, and quite frankly, I think that Mr. Jensen does an amazing job. So. And we're all in mess. Was there any positive things from this person who had something to say about us not paying taps? Were they moved by any part of our program at all? Or was it all negative? Because I need- No, I, I no, really, okay. no. You, you, you didn't listen to what I was saying. I heard I had I had no, I had one comment from somebody and I know where it came from because I have one guy in my post who basically believes that you can't play uh, nobody else. Nobody else can play taps except yeah. if it's on that recording bugle. I'm not going to mention who this guy is, but I know where it came from. Okay. I had nothing but positive remarks about what we did and how we did it. All right. I'm thankful. I'm just, I'm just telling that, that was a personal thing with me, but as far as I'm concerned, at the end of that ceremony, we should have had taps there okay. and I okay. would have done it. Understood. If it had been part of the ceremony, fine. Me. I would have done it after the ceremony was over on my own. Okay. Uh, Thank you. It's duly noted. We're going to put that in the notes here. Um, that's, uh, uh, you know, if and we were to I'm not putting that in the notes. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Tell your people to wear a mask next time, too. That was not good. You hear yeah, me, I, had, I didn't even notice I that. I got you. I'm, I'm going to check into it. Yeah, I will check get on my computer and find the video. You know, my we're, husband we're took his off, and I said, put that did. back on. Yeah. Wait a minute. We're, we're talking about what we did wrong, okay? Well, there was a lot of things wrong. We've never done this before. Okay? Right, absolutely. And hopefully yeah. we're not going to do it again. So let's hopefully just not. move on, and uh, everybody did a great job. So, I mean, to your point, we I understand what you're saying. I understand uh, where you're coming from, and... Uh, like Mike said, I hope we never have to do it again like that. But if we do, we know going forward that uh, um, we can structure it a little differently if the the dual video thing is kind of wonky. I mean, more people watch the live video than watch the other video. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think that's, um, you know, 
in hindsight, I probably would have done things a little bit differently too. But, uh, you know, uh, like you said, it's all sort of a learning, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a learning experience right here for us. But, um, you know, given, uh, given what we had, you know, if, if that's the worst that we, we end up with, then uh, I'll take that criticism. Just make a note of it in the minutes about, you know. I did. I wrote that down. Caps, caps to be played. Caps, caps, caps. Willie, I appreciate I you bringing it. that up, man. I did write that down in the minutes. All right now, are we uh, on to new business? Yes. I think so, yes. I wrote new business. Anyways, so I'm taking Tim's jacket. Yep, that's fine. So uh, under new business, I figured was the uh, sponsorship subcommittee stuff, but now um, we kind of covered uh, that. No, before. we have a motion. Uh, for what? I would like to make a motion to spend twenty five hundred dollars for a deposit on a float. I'd second that motion. All right. Uh, all in favor in favor of uh, spending twenty five hundred on uh, putting a deposit on the float That's for the hundredth anniversary one. Uh, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Right. Anybody opposed? All right. Now is the um, uh, the question I have is. Um, does the, um, you know, we had, we had met before the cutoff on budgeting and, um, uh, are we allowed to use that money that we had, uh, we had talked about then for this thing here, or is that a wholly separate budget for the 2,500 moving forward or the, what we had done before? Judy, you look like you want to say something. Oh, you're, you're mute. Wait, 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 wait. Unmute, unmute. Did you, you mute so, um, so what I was told by our finance department is that the money on the budget, like we have to use it, it's use it or lose it. It's not a savings account, it is a budget. Yep. And as long as we use it on the parade, it doesn't matter what your parade we're using it on. So this will be right. fine. I've already checked into it. So we can, uh, we can, we were given, we, I think we're given $2,000. Oh, year. shoot. I said 2,500. I thought no, it was 2,500. But we do have, we do have a thousand dollars from the sale of the shirts. That is not budgeted. That, that is ours. That's ours. Yeah, that, that's oh. used with us forever. It's just okay. like the budget money. If you don't use all the money in your budget, like it, you don't, they don't say yeah. like, we'll just put this in a savings account. And they'll think we don't need it next yeah. year because we yeah. didn't use it. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. So, um, so I will call the parade company um, tomorrow and uh, reserve. Um, so before before we do that, then do we say up to a certain amount, or do we say a certain amount for a deposit? Well, I think that we should just max out our budget, which is two thousand, and then uh, okay. and then we'll give the parade company five hundred dollars so next year or whatever. So then the motion should be for two thousand dollars for a parade pl parade float deposit. Then correct. You want me to amend it? Yes, I can please amend the motion. Yep. Amend the motion to make it two thousand dollars instead of twenty five hundred. Okay. And oh. to spend two thousand mm -hmm. on deposit on float for hundredth anniversary parade. Yeah, and I have like one other, um, it, it, maybe not uh, in this budget because we've already spent that. But you know, we have that um, giant flag that is, um, I believe it's 30, by, 30 feet by 60 feet. It takes 60 people to hold it. Okay. And so I was doing a little research on um, flags and, and we can get something like, that would still be pretty substantial and um, cost a lot. Uh, uh, the 30 by 60 flag runs around $1,200. That's the one that we have, but we, once somebody carries it, they never carry it again because it's really, really hard to carry it. And you need a lot of people. Like your average Optimist Club doesn't have 60 That's people. correct. Well, we have old people too. Yeah, so. right, and, and, it's, and it's hard. So yeah. there are, um, I was just thinking um, moving forward, there are flags that are like 25 by 40, like some that wouldn't take as many people. I do think that the giant flag is like a showstopper in the parade. I think yeah. it's really special. But I it think is. the flag we have is just way too big. And well, for the every year I've been on this committee, we've got somebody to say they'll do it, but they can't come up with 60 people to carry it. Well, is that the sort of thing we want to approach businesses about purchasing for the city of Royal Oak? Or is that the sort yeah. of thing we want to budget money for? Cynthia? No, there's probably businesses that would purchase that and maybe carry it. It is the 100th year. So that's an approach 
as we go out into the community and find out, I mean, there's people who want to participate and that's a, that's a great idea. Even if we get the pricing for those flags and take it with us as, hey, you wanna participate and have your, your members or um, do it. I think that's a great idea. I, I do think that, that flag, that's a huge flag. I mean, that's a football field. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yes, I mean, I just want to say, I, I know, I don't know if they're going to do it again, but um, for the Optimist Club, Keller Williams gave an amount of money to um, pay for the uh, farmer's market for our bestest concert ever. So there are bigger companies, maybe they, you know, aren't able to carry the flag, but they did something big. So I just think we didn't get the right person at Keller Williams. And my friend that did work there ended up going somewhere else to work. So I think once we have definitive things, like if you say, hey, give me money for the, the parade, that's one thing. But if you say, look, I'm looking to buy a 20, uh, to get 25 by 40 foot flag and I'd love people to carry it. You know? And uh, if you can go to them and say, this is going to cost this much money, we'd like you to get the, you know, uh, donate this to the city of Royal Oak for this, you know, uh, this purpose. And now that you've done that, if you want to, you know, uh, pony up the people, I think that's probably going to get a better traction than just a vague, hey, do you want yeah. to have a parade? Um, yeah. So that was why I, I thought that's where you, where you were going, Cynthia, um, with the uh, the flag. That seems like something, uh, I mean, I don't know if we have to budget for it. Um, right. No, no. I, I think getting it on the table to start talking about that is. is if, I, if we can get pricing for it while we're approaching people, and then it's like, yeah, we'd like you guys to carry it too, but we want you to donate that flag back to the events yeah. committee. The fl a flag that's half the size of the flag we have right now, so it would take about 30 people to carry it, is only $360. Only. I bet you, I bet you we can sell it. <laughs> only $360. Let's sell our flag. Sell the, yeah. sell the giant flag. Let's sell uh, that big flag. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll have an auction, uh, the giant flag auction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> and, uh, uh, see yeah. if anybody wants to buy it. Um, now, the, uh, um, so in terms of, uh, well, we still have to uh, finish our vote, our amended vote for, or, yep. uh, Right. Uh, for our two thousand dollars, do we have to vote again, or do we have to just amend? No, nope, you got to vote again because we amended the motion. All right, who, who gave us the motion for the two thousand? Two thousand dollars as a deposit on the float for the hundredth anniversary parade. I Got second it. that. All right, second by Cynthia. All in favor? Say aye. 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 All right. Uh, any uh, any anybody opposed? Nope. All right. Motion uh, uh, carries. Two thousand for the pull parade float deposit for the 100th anniversary parade. Uh, and of course, um, I'm going to reach out as soon as possible to see if we can get uh, lock in the Rosies again for that float. Okay. I, I, I will I will tell you that my friend Angela's mom passed away. That was one of the original. Yeah, unfortunately, not from COVID, just that time in her life. So, it, so we our, have to kind of maybe move on that because they are all in their 90s. So. Okay. Speaking of people in their 90s, are we still okay with uh, letting Mr. Elvira be the Grand Marshal? Oh, I absolutely, yeah. Yeah, if he's here he'll, next year, he'll, he'll outlive us all. It's a sure <laughs> thing, yeah. I don't exactly. know anybody's going to oppose that. He'll be that. here next year more than I would say I'll be here, you know? Yeah. He's yeah, really in good shape. Uh, yeah. For 90, he'll be 96 next year. Yeah. Grand Marshal. And we had... Um, so the other grand marshal was Greg Rassel, and it was like a, you know, he retired, and it would have been like a yeah. sort of. He was always kind of responsible for the parade setup this yeah. year. Yeah. Um, I think it's still part of my house. I live right by Main Street. That did you hear that siren go by? Yep. Um, so well, anyway, if he's not the grand marshal, then I think we can do, uh, you know, a position of honor or something like that for him. Yeah. Okay. I'll reach out to Greg. Okay. Greg Rassel. Do you know how to spell his last name? R A S S E L. Yep. Okay, Two S's, one L. Okay, got it. Um, retired. That. Um, so is that is that it? I think uh, so. Yeah, my husband asked him. But he said motion to adjourn in a text. <laughs> well, I'm. So, I would like to. I would like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Well, do and we we'll have see any, you all in August? New business, uh, or is that uh, is that it for tonight? I think that's it. Okay, so for next time, um, uh, what we're going to deal with is we're going to knuckle down and start talking about who do we allow in the parade, whether that be businesses, and if that, if we allow businesses, what are they allowed to say, 
if we allow, um, you know, action groups, what are they allowed to do? I think the next time we meet, we're really going to have to focus on laying the ground rules for who gets to march because if one person rolls in with the CBD thing, or if somebody rolls in with, you know, uh, especially given the, uh, uh, you know, the, the certain climate, you know, uh, I think we have to do our due diligence up front to make sure we have all the rules set in stone. So if somebody rolls in and, uh, you know, oh, we want daughters of the Confederacy, and we're going to do it because you did it, and you know, uh, I, I think that's going to be our August one. <laughs> so, but uh, if that's the case, can we get a motion for adjourn? We got Cynthia, and I'm in a second. All right. So we just yeah. need to vote. All right. All in favor of adjourning at 8.32 p.m. Aye. 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 But I'm <laughs> going to throw something out. I just looked at that video to answer somebody's question yeah. about the mask. I did see one guy. This video is hard to see, but I did see one guy who wasn't wearing it. I'm sending him an email right now. Well, that's okay. I just, in on it, and I I'm just gonna wanted to know there. that I, 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 you know, our agreement was that we would stay behind the camera. So I didn't feel like I could say to that guy, hey, you're not wearing a mask. Yeah. You should have. You should have said line. something. You should have said something. But I'll, I'm sending an I email. I'm going to find out. We actually rolling, Lily. So I was not going to stop in the middle of that. But I think to everybody's point, you know, it's this was a, uh, you know, we've never done anything like this. No, uh, and hopefully never again. Hopefully never again. And you know, given all of the limitations, you know, uh, if we get 98 percent the way there, I think I'm going to count that as a win. And anything yeah. that's uh, uh, any procedural issues. I will gladly take responsibility for that moving forward. So, yep. I but. thought it was amazing. Me too. Tear jerking. Anybody yep. who saw it, it didn't t cry. Yep. If they got a complaint. I'd like to hear it myself. Listen, I'm ready. You guys, this is my job. If one person makes, has a yeah, comment, that's, nothing. Because that's wildly successful. <laughs> oh, we loved it. Did, did you? Did, are we in agreement? We all loved it. Yeah, I loved I did, Mike yeah. Sherman. I thought it was amazing. I did too. Yep. I mean, Dave, I can't thank you enough. Yeah. I appreciate that. So. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, Good everybody night, go have all. a big glass of wine or a beer yeah, and know, uh, yeah, uh, enjoy your night. Good so. night. Good night. All right. yeah, Good night, everybody. Night.